What up, fam? Back at the garage. My red coupe. Well, it's a customer's car right here. I'm doing motor swap on. But we're not working on any of this today. Today, we're going to be working on my daily. My G35 sedan. <clears throat> we are going to be installing some test pipes. Yes, sir. I picked up some test pipes for the sedan. So, I'm going to show you guys how to throw on test pipes on your HR or VHR motor. HRs and VHRs do use the same test pipes. DEs have a different flange. Um, if I find some in comparison, I can show you guys, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So for starters, it's always good to have a second person because sometimes doing test pipes on these are a pain in the ass, but I am alone right now. So you're going to start with taking off your intakes, which is, you know, just unplug your uh, math sensor, pull your intakes off. Um, only so you have a little bit of more room so you can see in there so you guys can't even see it from here but there's one bolt that everybody struggles with on these <laughs> so let me go ahead and get the intakes off and we'll see if we can see down there i also gotta lift the car up obviously all right so this is your driver's side you have ac lines and stuff in the way so you can't really see it um i'm gonna try to get the camera in there so you guys can see it but don't think you can. It's pretty hard to see in there, to be honest with you. But it is back there. <laughs> There's a bolt back there. But on this side, it's pretty clear. If you uh, right back there where the flashlight is, that top bolt is the bolt people struggle with. So I'm actually just gonna spray with WD-40 for now until I get to there, so I can loosen the bolts up a little. But it's the same thing on this side. Um, the easiest way to probably get it is get like a really long extension and get it down there and just crack it loose. So let me jack the car up and we'll get under it and get started. So I actually have some uh, DE headers right here. So if you were to put these on. Uh, if you were to attempt, I'll uh, put it on backwards. If you were to attempt to put these on, the, well it's obviously hitting the ground, but the VHR, HR flange is way bigger than the DE, so there's no way that would work. So when you do buy test pipes, make sure whether you have a DE or VH, VHR, you do get the right ones. Like I said, HR, VHR test pipes are the same, and DEs are different. The flange is uh, smaller. So I'm going to go under right now. Um, and I'm going to start disconnecting the cat from the white pipe and I'm going to go ahead and start working on those cat bolts. Alright, so we're under the car. So first things first, you're going to go ahead and want to remove this um, little bracer here. I'm not sure the exact name, but it pretty much holds the cat to the transmission. So it's like a, like a cat brace, transmission brace, I don't know. But uh, most people remove these and when they go test pipes, they don't usually have... Uh, bolts for them so or they don't have a spot where you bolt this back up so you can just take that off for now um, yeah let me get this off and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove these from the cat to the white pipe there's two on each side uh, those are 14 millimeter and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on these bolts after that so there you can see one right there uh, there's the bottom one so they both face that way towards the front of the car which doesn't make it a little hard to get off but I figured out the one I was mentioning the hard one is up there so you can see the back side of it so I'm most likely gonna have to go from the top to get them out so these top bolts are on there really tight so do recommend anyone that does this have a breaker bar or some kind of cheater bar to help you get these off these ones aren't too bad, so I already got these off. I got this little brace off that is right here. Um, but yeah, you're definitely gonna need some kind of, I already cracked this one loose, but they're definitely on there good. So make sure you have some type of leverage to help you out with removing these. So I'm currently doing the passenger side. Like I said, I got this top one loose already. I'm working on the bottom right now. I do have a half inch, uh, swivel head if that's what you call it on there and I'm able to get the bolt 
get on the bolt and get it loose. I already cracked it loose. So now I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get this top one without having to go from the top. So if I do, I will let you guys know how I get to it. So there is no way I was able to figure out how to get it from the bottom, but luckily if you have a long enough extension, you could get it from the top just like this. Um, just make sure you use a good ratchet because I think I just broke mine. Breaking this bolt loose, it feels like it. it doesn't want to ratchet like it's supposed to. But I definitely broke it loose. So I have one long ass extension that goes all the way down there. And yeah, broke it loose. So this one is ready to come out now. So let me go ahead and take this last bolt out and get the side off. Well, I got one of them out thanks to the help of the homie Rich. That top bolt I was mentioning was stripped. So I don't know how I got it off, but we got it off somehow. But that's how it looks now completely fucking smooth right here and all these threads are crossed so one cat is off but those threads are fucked now all right so i got the the first bolt i went after on the driver's side was the top one only because that one stripped but looks like it came off no problem luckily so I'm gonna go back under and get the other two and then we should also have the driver side out. We'll be ready to throw test pipes in. Alright, so I'm on the passenger side now. I got the top bolt off already. I'm working on the bottom one. I got it loose. Just like this. This flex head ratchet does come in clutch. That corner one is also loose. So once I'm done with that, just disconnect the O2 sensor and the side will come out. Here it is. Here's the passenger side with the cat already out. We go to finish this and then we'll compare the test pipes and the cat. One tool I can recommend for you is a O2 sensor socket. You don't need it, but it definitely makes your life easier when taking your O2 sensors off. So I already broke them loose. So I'm gonna take these off and throw them onto the new test pipes. All right, so here's pretty much your comparison of test pipes and cats, as you can tell. You got your test pipe, the cats, you have all that shit in there. The test pipes are officially installed. I'm gonna end up changing out the hardware. I don't like the way it looks, but everything's in. They're on. So let me go ahead and lower the car down and we'll get a sound clip of how it sounds after with the cold start. <laughs> She's been sitting for 30 minutes or so, so here we go. Drive it around for a little while to, for it to get used to. 
the sound does change after a little while, like with the cat back, it changed after about a week or so, so. Gotta drive it around for a couple of days, you know, just to get used to, um, just to get used to it pretty much. There is a little bit of drone on the inside too with the windows up. It's not too bad though, compared to my coupe, which has long two headers. It is much less drony. <laughs> But yeah, I'm on my way home right now. I'm stuck in traffic, obviously. I'm gonna get a couple of uh, shots right now of me driving just so you guys can hear it a little bit more.